Mind Clicks, Episode 1, Cat Smiles Bond with Your Cat. Ever get the feeling your cat understands more than they let on? Like maybe they're, I don't know, trying to tell us something. But we just, we just don't speak the same language. Mm-hmm. Well, get this. New research suggests cats might actually have a secret signal for building connections. All right. And, and it's probably something you've seen a thousand times. That slow, lazy blink they do. It's true. What we might have brushed off as just cats being cats could actually be a powerful form of communication. A team at the University of Sussex designed some really interesting experiments to test this out. Okay. So we're talking about actual scientific research. Into cat blinks. Oh, yeah. I am in. Tell me everything. So picture this. Researchers convinced cat owners to participate in a little experiment. They asked these owners to slow blink at their cats while everything was recorded. Like a staring contest, but yeah. way less intense. Right. And hopefully with more purring. Exactly. And the results were fascinating. Cats whose owners gave them the slow blink were significantly more likely to return the gesture than those who weren't on the receiving end of, well, you know, some serious eye contact. So they were mirroring their humans. That's kind of amazing. But I can also see how it could be chalked up to cats just being, well, cats. Yeah. How did the researchers know it wasn't a fluke? That's where things get even more interesting. They brought in complete strangers to interact with cats they had never met before and had them try out the slow blink. Okay, now my curiosity is really piqued. Did these feline strangers fall for the slow blink charm? They did. Even with someone completely new, the cats were far more likely to slow blink back. And remember, these weren't their usual humans, so it seems like this goes beyond just recognizing a familiar face. And, and there's another layer to this. The research team also observed that after a human slow blinked at a cat, the cat was more likely to approach if that person offered a handout to them. Wow. So it's more than just like a visual tick. It's like this slow blink is a green light. Right. Signaling, hey, I'm open to, I'm open to interaction. That's exactly what it seems like. This, this simple act could be a game changer in how we approach our interactions with cats especially in situations that might be stressful for them. Like, you know. You're right. That's huge. Think about how many cats end up in shelters or how skittish they can be at vet appointments. Yeah. What if something as easy as a slow blink could help put them at ease? Precisely. It really makes you wonder how much we've been missing all along. For years, cats have been stereotyped as being less socially aware than other animals. But this research is part of a growing body of evidence that challenges that idea. I am all ears. Tell me everything these brainy kitties are capable of. Well, for one thing, studies have shown that cats can actually recognize their owners' voices. Okay, that one I get. My cat Simon totally perks up when he hears my voice, even if he tries to play it cool. But what about emotions? Can they actually sense if we're happy or sad? There's some really compelling research on that front, too. Certain studies suggest cats can pick up on human emotions through our tone of voice, and even our facial expressions. So even if we don't say it out loud, our cats might just know when we're having a rough day. It's possible. It's like they have this sixth sense for our moods. And here's another fascinating tidbit. There's even evidence that cats might mirror their owner's personalities. Wait, seriously. So if you're like a go with the flow kind of person, your cat is more likely to be laid back too. That's the general idea. Of course, every cat has a unique personality, but but there's a chance our own quirks and tendencies can rub off on our feline friends over time. Okay. That is wild. It's like they become tiny furry reflections of us, minus the opposable thumbs and ability to open a can of tuna, of course. Right. But the bigger takeaway is that this research really challenges us to rethink what we thought we knew about cats. They're not just these independent creatures who tolerate our presence. They're actually observing us, picking up on our cues, and maybe even teaching us a thing or two about communication along the way. It really makes you wonder, where did this whole slow blink thing even come from? Mm -hmm. Did cats invent it? Did, did we somehow teach it to them? It feels like one of those mysteries we may never solve. It really is a fascinating question. It's possible that for cats, it's a holdover from their wilder days. Yeah. Like in the animal kingdom, staring directly at another animal that's often seen as a threat. Right. So maybe this slow blink evolved as a way for cats to signal, hey, relax, I'm not looking for trouble. Sort of a don't mind me just chilling my eyelids over here kind of vibe. <laughs> exactly. But it's also entirely possible that cats, being the incredibly perceptive creatures they are, 
picked up on the fact that humans respond well to slow blinks and kind of worked it into their communication strategy over time, especially, you know, as they've evolved alongside us through domestication. So it could be a little bit of my nature, a little bit of nurture. Yeah. Maybe a combination of both. Precisely. And with domesticated animals, yeah. it's always tricky to fully untangle those influences. But at the end of the day, what matters is it seems to work. That's what I'm taking away from this. We have a scientifically backed way to tell our cats we're cool with them without even saying a word. I love that. Imagine the possibilities. This could change the way we approach cat care in shelters, at the vet, even just in our own homes. It's like we've unlocked this secret code to better understand and connect with our feline companions. And to think, all this time, the answer was right there, hidden in plain sight. Just a slow blink. Something tells me there are even more fascinating discoveries waiting for us when it comes to understanding how our cats communicate. Well, on that note, I'm ready to go practice my slow blinks with Simon. See if he's got any messages for me. To everyone listening, if you try it out with your cat, we want to hear about it. And until next time, happy diving. Thank you.